Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a knitting stitch pattern tutorial. And for this particular swatched I swatch, I used a DK weight yarn. But as you can see, there's lots of pretty eyelets in it. And um, these can be worked up in panels. It can be done over multiples of stitches. Um, for this particular panel, it's done in nine stitch count. So I'm going to go ahead and work this up in a heavier weight yarn with you. I'm going to use a worsted weight um, and a 5.5 set of knitting needles. Now, because I'm only casting on nine stitches, I'm going to do this a short version way instead of a long tail cast on. So I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that. So I have a slip knot on my needle and I'm gonna insert as if to knit my right needle. I'm gonna yarn over that needle and pull up a loop. Now I'm gonna bring it around, my left needle around and slip it over onto that left needle. That's two stitches. I'm going to do that again with you here. So we're pulling up loops and placing those loops onto our needle. So that's four. And I never really take my needle out of the loop. I just create a new one, bring it up, around, insert, and then I slide to the back. So that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine. Let's double check to make sure. Three, six, and nine. So I do have my nine stitches. All right. So we do a setup row to begin with, and I'm going to zoom in so that way we can get up close and see what's going on here. We do a setup row to begin with, and the setup row is on the wrong side of the work. And we knit one, purl seven, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then knit one all right that is our setup row now we're going to begin on the right side of our work with row one with row one we're going to bring our yarn to the front and purl our first stitch Now, the next is a slip slip knit, and I'm going to show you how I do a slip slip knit. It creates the same exact effect, and you're not having to slip any stitches off and then knit them. You can do it however you choose. If you prefer the standard slip slip knit, by all means, go for it. This is how I learned a quick, easy way to do it. So we're going to insert our needle as if to knit that first stitch. Then we're going to tilt our work so we can see the back leg of the second stitch. And you're going to insert your needle under that leg. Yarn over and pull that yarn over through both of those stitches. And now you can drop those stitches. All right, now you're going to yarn over and knit one three times. That was one, two, and three. Yarn over, knit two together, and purl one. Now we started with nine stitches and currently have 11 stitches. Turn your work over and let's begin row two. Row two, you're going to knit the first stitch, 
purl the next nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and knit the last stitch. Turn your work over for row three. Row three, we're gonna decrease back down to our original nine stitches. We're going to bring our yarn to the front and purl that first stitch. Now we're going to do that slip, slip, knit once again. So as if to knit, tilt your work, pick up the back leg of the second stitch, yarn over, and pull it through. Knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Knit two together and purl one. Now we're going to turn our work over for row four. Row four, you're going to knit the first one, purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now you're going to knit that last stitch. And that is your repeat rows, rows one through four. And you will continue to repeat rows one through four for whatever length you so desire. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.